Kid Cuisines was the first of its kind when it came out in 1990. I remember being super young and being drawn to the cartoon penguin and polar bear on the box. Turns out, the original characters, BJ and the chef, have been discontinued and replaced with a more happening and hip penguin named KC Penguin. Hmm, I wonder what the KC could stand for. According to an article from the Chicago Tribune from 1991, children's microwavable meals were one of the fastest growing categories in the food industry at the time. Well, clearly that didn't last long because now it's 2018 and the only lone survivor is Kid Cuisine. Most of the Kid Cuisine competitors have been totally forgotten and any information has unfortunately been lost to time. But if you dig deep enough, you can find mentions of things like Snoopy's Choice Dinners and Hormel's Kids Kitchen Cups. Of course, the main competitor everyone remembers is Tyson's Looney Tunes meals, which were released the same year as Kid Cuisine. You would think that Tyson had the leg up on Kid Cuisine since they had the license to Looney Tunes characters. And you could eat things like Bugs Bunny chicken chunks, Speedy Gonzales enchiladas, or Sylvester fish sticks. Because nothing sounds more appetizing than chicken chunks. But unlike Kid Cuisine, who actually themed the food itself, Tyson just packed regular looking chicken nuggets or pizza and slopped Bugs Bunny on the box. Maybe that's why they didn't outlast Kid Cuisine. And back when Kid Cuisine was promoting Lion King one and a half, yeah, that was a thing. The chicken nuggets looked like Simba's paws. But whatever, the point is that Kid Cuisine even made the food appealing, not just the box. After discovering the kids kitchen cups and Snoopy's choice meals, I still felt like there was something else out there that I remembered from my childhood but the internet was letting me down. While looking up pictures of Looney Tunes meals, I stumbled upon some random Pinterest inspiration board and there it was, in all its purple and recognizable glory, Swanson's Fun Feast. I remember thinking these were better than Kid Cuisine's because I thought the food tasted better. And I mean, check out that awesome swirl soft serve dessert. But it featured the likes of a hip looking rhino and an out of control lion with shades. And eventually, they'd feature licensed characters like Snoopy, Scooby-Doo, Fred Flintstone, and others. I tried to find out how long Fun Feast was available, and I couldn't find much information. It looks like they were available throughout the late 90s, so I'm guessing they were discontinued sometime either in 1999 or the early 2000s. Now, I can't make a video about Kid Cuisines without mentioning the commercials. They were on Nickelodeon all the time, and usually they were running contests and promotions like winning a trip to Universal Studios Florida. In the mid-2000s, KC Penguin went from traditional animation and into the era of crappy CGI. But anyway, they seem to advertise these just as much as they did in the early 90s. So the messed up kid cuisine tradition can live on. Well, now it's time for me to revisit my childhood and try some kid cuisines. Okay, so the first kid cuisine we're trying today is Earth Mightiest Popcorn Chicken because what says Avengers like popcorn chicken? First thing, so you see how it says it comes with color changing pudding? So on the microwavable instructions, it says remove film from tray, remove sprinkles packet. I could not for the life of me find the freaking sprinkles packet. And it turns out it's like buried under the chicken nuggets. So already I was like, what is happening? Because you know some kid like just microwave the sugar packet, not sugar packet, sprinkle packet, whatever it's called. First I need to put the sprinkles in the pudding. So this is piping hot, boiling vanilla pudding that is supposed to change colors when I put in this, um, these magical adventure sprinkles. Oh, okay, so it just turns blue. Wow, that, that looks just great. All right, so I'm gonna start off with a french fry. Mm, tastes like soggy microwavable french fries, like whatever. So now a popcorn chicken nugget thing. It's a chicken nugget that's microwaved. So before the awesome looking corn, I'm gonna try the vanilla pudding that's blue. And I know you're supposed to save dessert for last, but on Aaron Plays, there are no rules. You know what? That actually was pretty good. I want to have another bite. It tastes like cake batter, but in a good way. I actually really like that. Okay. And I'll try some corn. Some awesome corn. Tastes like corn. 
Okay, so next up we have Co-Pilot Chicken Breast Nuggets featuring Chewbacca. <laughs> because Star Wars is on everything. Everything. Okay, so you get little BB-8 and R2-D2 shaped chicken nuggets, so I give it to Kid Cuisine for trying. Like, Looney Tunes, Tyson Meals didn't do that, but Kid Cuisines, they like literally shape the food. That's why they're still around. Ooh, and then you get a memory matchup game on the back that you can cut out if you're really bored. I want to know the percentage of kids that like actually cuts out these games on the back of the box. I feel like nobody does it. So I'm going to try the mac and cheese first. Mac and cheese is one of my favorite foods ever because I feel like sometimes I eat like a five-year-old. So maybe this is appropriate that I'm doing this video. Oh, it's hot. Okay, so it doesn't really taste like anything. It tastes like watery mac and cheese. I'm gonna go for an R2-D2. That's all right. It tastes like a shitty chicken nugget. Also, it says made with 100% natural chicken breast with rib meat. Okay, and then for dessert, we have cookies that look like dog biscuits. Battle cookies. Okay, so we're gonna try the battle cookies now. So these you have to take out of the box before you microwave everything. So they're cold, they're just like cold hard Oreos kind of, and they have X's on them. I guess they're supposed to be like TIE Fighters or something. They taste like basically Oreos without the filling. So we have more Star Wars because of course we have more Star Wars. So now it's galactic battle spaghetti with mini meatballs, corn, and battle cookies. They lose points for not theming the corn. Okay, so this one I'm actually kind of dreading. I think out of all the ones I bought, like this one looked the most disgusting. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do it in the middle and just get it over with. I'm not gonna try the corn or cookies again because we've already tried it. All right, so this is the spaghetti. I feel like it's gonna be really hot. I really don't want to try a meatball. I can't, I can't do that. No. So far this is my least favorite one. It's really bad, like really bad. Oh, and but then also, when you're, you know, in the middle of enjoying your awesome food, you can defeat the first order and you can use your battle cookies and play the game on the back of the box. Okay, so we're in for a real treat with this one. This is called Pizza Painter Cheese Pizza. So you can design a face, eat a brownie, and some corn. This was the most complicated TV dinner I've ever dealt with in my life. So the directions say, remove film. And you're like, okay, fine but then it just gets out of control. Remove pizza, pizza sauce packet, and brownie. Place pizza sauce packet in bowl of hot water to thaw. As you're like, pizza sauce packet is thawing in a bowl of hot water, you microwave the pizza. Here's the pizza, I drew a little face on it because it's pizza painter pizza. Ooh, this is hot. So the first thing that grossed me out was this like extra layer of like cheese film. It looks like glue or plastic, but it's cheese. I'm just gonna eat the what, the stuff that's actually on the pizza, which isn't any better. I'm really proud of my pizza. So this is the pizza that I drew. It's so funny. He's kind of angry and sad because I'm kind of angry and sad because I'm really hungry and this isn't good. The dough feels really spongy. The Lunchables pizza are amazing compared to this and I haven't even tasted this yet. Okay, so the pizza isn't as bad as it looks. Like the sauce is kind of sweet, it's fine. It's not fine, but like for a kid cuisine, it's fine. So for dessert, you have a brownie. And I was like, oh, you know, you probably microwave this, you don't. And it didn't even say to put it in the disgusting bowl of hot water. And I love pastries, and I love baked goods, and I love brownies. So I would like to eat this, but I can't. And here's why. This was a very interesting kid cuisine. 
It had a lot more prep than I thought it would. At this point, it's like just make a fucking sandwich or mac and cheese, like literally anything else. Okay, so continuing our break from some unlicensed kit cuisines comes deep sea adventure fish sticks. And guess what? These also come with cookies, but they're called tic-tac-toe cookies and not battle cookies. So I was like, oh, okay, like, you know, what's different about these? Nothing. So the Star Wars cookies have X's and O's, and these have X's and O's. So I was like, okay, are the X's, for the Star Wars ones, are the X's TIE Fighters? What's the O, a fucking Death Star? So these are fish sticks, mac and cheese, and corn. So another thing I'm learning is pretty much everything that comes with mac and cheese or corn or both, you take everything out of the packet, and then you just microwave the corn and the mac and cheese first. I imagine this is what it's like if you're just an overworked, like, single mom and you work all the time so you don't have time to cook for your kids. And by the third week of cooking these, like, fucking kid cuisines, you're like, 45 seconds for the corn! So, it's a fish stick. Surprise, it's not that good. Oh, I need a beverage. And lastly, we have shimmering mac and cheese featuring Elsa and Olaf. So because the mac and cheese is shimmering and they're actually shaped like Anna, Olaf, and Elsa, I'm hoping this is the best one. All right. It's not good mac and cheese, like Kraft mac and cheese is way better. Not just because it has a Cheezosaurus Rex, but because it just tastes better. This is like, you know, it's kind of watery and tasteless, but on the kid cuisine scale, it's like, that's pretty good. <laughs> and then, it comes with snowflake sprinkles, and we're gonna put that in the pudding. So the pudding looks pretty gross. It looks like some messed up grits or something, I don't know. And it's gonna be piping hot, because who doesn't like their pudding piping hot? All right, so I have my, <laughs> my snowflakes in there. And you know what's bullshit? There's like this whole little area over here that has nothing in it. They could have put something in there, and they could have put like another frozen brownie. Or you know what, the pudding from the Avengers thing wasn't too awful, I actually kind of like that. Okay, so because this pudding is so hot, it's kind of like melting <laughs> the sprinkles, which I don't think are supposed to be melting, but... <laughs> I'm like really laughing at this because this is just like, oh my god, this is unappealing. It tastes like cake batter, so I'm sure if you're like four, you would say that's great. Okay, so now I'm gonna rank all of these from best to worst. So, turns out my girl Elsa was the best. It was mac and cheese, shaped like the Frozen characters, and it wasn't totally disgusting. It was just kind of like tasteless mac and cheese. And the sprinkles were snowflake shaped, so this was very themed and it didn't make you want to vomit. So that's good. So this is the best one. Second best one are the co-pilot chicken breast nuggets. <laughs> I can't say this with a straight face. It came with corn and mac and cheese, which is fine. And then like the chicken nuggets weren't totally disgusting, which was shocking. So, you know, it's the second best. <laughs> can't do this. Okay, so third best is Earth's Mightiest Popcorn Chicken. I like the pudding because apparently I'm disgusting. Or I have the taste buds of a four-year-old. I don't know. Fourth up, I think, is Pizza Painter Cheese Pizza. It was fun to draw on the pizza with the pizza sauce packet. But the cheese was like plastic and it was pretty gross. And the brownie was like too hard to eat and I literally couldn't slice a knife through it. It wasn't good. Fifth is Deep Sea Adventure Fish Sticks. This was just gross. It just bothered me, and maybe it was like a personal thing, but I just thought this was kind of disgusting. But not as disgusting as this one! So the worst one is Galactic Battle Spaghetti with Mini Meatballs. I could barely try the meatballs, it just really grossed me out. Like Subway has meatballs. And I know they're supposed to be made with the same material that is made with yoga mats or whatever, but like, you know, you just don't think about it and you can eat that if you had to. I'm not a food reviewer, so that's why I'm just literally saying things like, this was bad. I don't remember them being this bad. 
Or maybe it's just because when you're little, you just eat really disgusting things because like Hello Kitty's on it. So that was my adult take on kid cuisines. That was an ordeal. Thanks for watching.